we're going to do is on the back of this chimney, we're just going to fix this chimney flashing. I've shown you chimney flashing before, but it was really tight and difficult to see. Um, it's a common problem that happens on a lot of houses. So we're going to fix that chimney um, flashing and we'll also tidy up the step flashing. But you can see he's toast. So I'm just going to show you the easy way to put a tray in the back there because it's, it's a really common problem. That's all we're going to do is replicate that tray. So now that we've got uh, the old tray out, this is the new tray and I want it to go 150 past the corner. The tray itself is 250 wide. So I am going to measure up 400 and I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to do that twice and that's going to give me my two side pieces so that I can run it around the corner like the other tray did. Now we've cut the two side lengths. This is the tray that's going to go in at the back of the chimney. And all we're doing is we're cutting it less than 250 because the side trays are 250 wide and we want it to fit on top and inside those. So I think I've allowed about 230 on each side and I'm just cutting it to the right size. Now bear in mind, I'm cutting this and I have bent it to the same slope as the roof. So the side gutters I actually bend out to make them right angles and this one will be cut to the slope of the roof. So when it goes in the back, it fits in flat against that chimney. Okay, so I've got this at regular speed because this is quite important. If you have a look at this, I'm marking both sides of the chimney so this is nice and tight. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift that up. And the reason I'm showing you this slowly is I, I just want you to take note of how I cut this down. This is how I do it. So I'm going to cut down straight a little bit of the way. And then I'm going to flare it out slightly towards the other side. Okay. You'll see how that works later on. It's to help with the water runoff. And uh, I do the same on the other side. Although this was the worst pair of greens I had in the toolbox. I accidentally grabbed the wrong ones. So they're blunt hats. And I must apologise. It goes a bit off screen sometimes. That's just purely because of the I was filming it from the top so you saw everything. So now you're just cutting away the excess. Now you're just going to see me, um, I just neaten up those cuts on the side. I don't like them square. I like them cut up on a bit of an angle. I find it easier to seal and easier to um, just work with in general. I also think it's better water-wise because the water drops off onto the side flashings. So that's all I'm doing now is just neatening up those side bits, getting them ready for the side trays. now for the side bits so what I do is I put it on top first um, that is to get that marking now I'll mark it down the back of the tray and that'll get me that perfect angle remember how I've got the back tray made to an angle okay so by marking down the back there I am getting the angle I need for the side tray and you can see it on the back of it there 
Now I'm just going to cut that and cut off the excess. So now we're just going to tack it in place with two screws and that's going to keep the tray exactly where it should be. Then we're going to transfer to the other side and do it again. Now I've got the tray in place, I like to mark whatever I've cut with the pencil line and then you'll see I take the tray out and I run my silicon just at the back of that pencil line and then I add a bit of extra silicon. So when I now put in some screws and some rivets, that silicon is going to stick the metal together nice and strong. So it's not going to move. Um, in heat or anything like that and any expansion and contraction is going to be reduced so this is just the first level of sealing and you'll see later I'll do a second level of sealing which will be over the top um, so it'll be double sealed Okay, so I'll show you in a sec, but I'm going to seal up the back here so that it doesn't leak. So the water runs past and it's sealed up the back here. So it's impossible it'll leak. Okay, so there he is, all done, all finished. Okay, you saw how it went past the edge. Now, just important, this one overlaps this one, which then overlaps this one. Okay, so the water runs down like it would in a waterfall. The other thing is, you can see here, I've gone past, past the actual corner a little bit and then seal behind it. And the reason I do that is because I want the water to run off and you see it'll run down here rather than against the wall. So if there's any problems, you won't have to deal with any leaking into that corner. Um, and that's just the way I do it. Some people cut it and sit it flat, but I like it past. Um, apart from that, look, just make sure she's sealed properly. You've done the overlap and you've done some fixings. So I hope you liked this little video. It's probably only be a quick one. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you on the next one.